the scientists in the 60s doing this, these conformity exercises, seeing if people, how people will inflict pain on others to conform. You know, because it's basically based on um, what happened in Nazi Germany. It's like, how, how did people, were how normal citizens able to partake in this violence? I think a lot of us in our daily lives have to admit that we are blindly complying with authority, that we are not actually looking at why we're doing what we're doing. We're doing it because we've been told to do it that way, and a lot of times it's helpful, like with a red light, but sometimes it's, it's not. Yeah, it's a great script, really great, you know, the 10th state with William Shatner, and just the study itself, Stanley Milgram stepped outside of the boundaries. It was very controversial back then, so I'm glad we were able to address it and make the movie about the movie itself. And the cast is amazing, and working with Michael, it was just a no-brainer. It was a new role for me. I play the character Sheila Jarko in the film, who's one of Milgram's students later, so when he's no longer at Harvard, when he's at SUNY, and it's um, it's great to play. I feel like I show a different part of him than like the Harvard professor. I show him when he's still doing different obedience studies, but it's later in his life, and he's not as successful as he once was. Well, it's based on a real guy, and the more I learned about him, the more exciting and captivating his ideas are and his the circumstances of his life. And it's also about his marriage. He had a really interesting, exceptional marriage. And so Winona Ryder plays the wife of Peter Sarsgaard, the, the main guy. And it's I felt it was a, a, hard, what's a heartening story. Luckily, one of the people is still alive, and we, we met with her. And there are videotapes and photographs. And then, then they're liberated to make it their own. No one was doing an imitation. No one was trying to copy the real people. But they were informed by it. They distilled some essence of their personality. Now that was just a, it was just a, a, a real gift. It's also, you know, you do feel a big responsibility um, to get it right. Um, but she was just wonderful and generous. And she's like a spark. She's just an incredible woman. So it was a real privilege. I think the whole movie is is uh, is really amazing. How it shows about obedience about people, and uh, and it's it's really relevant until uh, every day. If you open the news, you see how people are acting, and you don't understand why they go after um, authority. So uh, you have the ferry in Korea that uh, that sunk, and uh, the captain said stay, and they stayed, which which is amazing because it's exactly what this movie is about. So I think. The whole piece, the way Michael put it, is really, really strong. It's a strong, smart movie that people, when they see it, they will understand and relate to it. And it's amazing that people still act like that. Well, that was just a terrific red carpet. We're here at The Experimenter. We got to talk with producers, the director, stars, bona fide A-listers. What a great payoff we've had here out at the Eccles. You're watching Park City Television and our Sundance 2015 coverage. Stay tuned.